this video we're going to use a graphing calculator to find the solution region to a system of inequalities. Um, so before we uh, start this, uh, the first thing we're going to need to do is make sure that every um, equation, or excuse me, every inequality in our system uh, is written in Wackel's mx plus b form. Um, and we'll tackle that x in just a second, that uh, x is greater than or equal to zero. Uh, the only one that needs to be changed is our uh, first inequality. I'm not going to take the time to go through the steps, but uh, if we were to solve this for y, we would get y is less than negative two-thirds x plus four. All right, so at this point, uh, we're going to go to the calculator. We're going to let the calculator do the hard work for us. Um, we're going to take advantage of a, a, a pretty nifty app on the calculator uh, called Inequals. Um, on your calculator, you probably have one of the uh, school property, uh, the school issued yellow um, back calculators. Um, your Inequals app is probably number seven, um, but mine's kind of a stripped down version, so I, my Inequals app is, happens to be number two. Um, but whatever it is, just find it in the list and go to that number, arrow to it, uh, and press enter. And as long as you haven't started it before, you're probably going to get a screen that looks like this. You just press any key to continue. And you'll go to this screen. So at this point, you'll notice something different about the, the regular, um, or what you normally see on the Y equals screen. I have these uh, digital tabs here that have the inequality symbols on them. Um, and if you arrow off of the equal sign on the graph screen, on the Y equals screen, you'll notice that they disappear. So if you ever need those back, which we will in just a second, uh, you just arrow back to the equals. Uh, so I'm going to enter my uh, inequalities like normal. Um, first off, I want to enter negative. I'm going to use parentheses so I stay out of trouble with order of operations. Negative two thirds x plus four. Now I need that to be less than. So to get the less than back on the screen, I'm going to arrow back over to the equals and I need to access these digital tabs somehow. Uh, in order to do that, you press the alpha key, and in uh, combination with that, uh, one of the function keys at the top. So each uh, digital tab lines up with a physical key underneath of it. So in this particular problem, I want a less than, so I'm going to press alpha, and then I want less than, which lines was the second one, so the second function key is a window. And you'll notice that it changes the symbol and it changes the type of shading we're going to get. So I come down to my next one, and I want y is greater than or equal to negative 4. So I'm already setting on the equals. I'm just going to use my digital tabs now. So I press alpha, and I need greater than or equal to, which is the last one. So it lines up with the graph. And I arrow over and enter negative 4. And again, you'll notice that the uh, symbol changed for the graphing. Uh, on the previous one, you notice that it was a less than, which means it would graph with a dashed line see the little dots above the shading. This one is greater than or equal to, so it would graph with a solid line. Notice those little dots are not there anymore, just the solid triangle. And my last y inequality uh, is y is less than 6. So we've already done a less than before. It's alpha and window. Now, we have a problem. We have an x uh, inequality. Um, this is about the only place on the calculator I know you can enter an X and get it to graph. Um, if you notice up in the top left hand corner, uh, there's an X equals to. So if you arrow up to that, you notice it highlights. Once it's flashing on X equals, press enter. And you'll notice that my display changes. Um, now there, I can write X inequalities. So if I want X is greater than or equal to zero, uh, I'm already setting on the equals to, so I'm going to access alpha graph to get the greater than or equal to, and I want x is greater than or equal to zero. So again, I entered the system just like it looks um, um, once I'd solved all of them for y or my x inequality. So at this point, I can hit graph. Now if you notice right there, I think my intersection point is off the screen. So before I start talking about this mess of shading that we have here, I'm actually going to go to Window and change my X max. I'm going to shift it just a little bit so I can capture, or I rather I can see that uh, in a, that uh, intersection point out there. 
So we'll give time to let it graph. Notice this dashed line. That would be a uh, inequality that is not greater than, or I mean, or not uh, an equal to or inequality. So that's just something fun to point out. Now let's keep uh, our goal in mind here. We're trying to find a solution region. Um, this uh, is uh, interesting, but not quite what we want. Um, so we're going to actually take advantage of something, a built-in function into the Inequals app called Shades. Now what Shades does, if you press alpha and either the Y equals or the window uh, function key, notice that it's kind of a wide digital tab, so either one of those will get the uh, Shades menu for you. I get this. Uh, the original shade is obviously what we're looking at. Union would basically shade the entire screen just like what we're seeing here because a union of all of those inequalities would basically be everywhere where any of them is true. Uh, so that would shade everything. What we are actually interested in is the solution region which is where that they all, all the um, graphs, uh, all the shading intersects. So if I press number one We'll watch it actually shade and unshade until we're finally at the end left with our solution region. So this right here is the solution region uh, for our. Um, oops, I lost it. That's the solution region for our system of inequalities. Um, it didn't ask for it in the problem, but. Uh, just a bonus explanation you get here is this POI trace. Uh, depending on who you talk to, POI stands for point of interest trace or point of intersection. Um, especially when you get into some of the later um, sections in this course with linear programming, you're going to need to know the uh, intersection points of graphs of inequalities. So if you press alpha and either zoom or trace, you'll access, um, you'll notice that it will start to put a cursor on these points that are uh, the vertices of this triangle in this instance which are the intersection points and you can use the left and right arrow keys to jump around the intersection points and sometimes if you use the right combination of ups and downs and left and rights you can actually hit them all uh, so I have an intersection point at 0, negative 4 I have one at 0, 4 and I have one at 12, negative 4. So those three vertices of that triangle uh, enclose our solution region.